Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to collage onto your painting if you're interested in doing that. Um, I've cut out this piece of paper. It's handmade paper. I'm going to glue it into, I've already cut it out, so I'm going to glue it into this spot so that it kind of looks like the floor. It's definitely going to flatten the floor, but I think it will be kind of fun. And then I have this other piece that I'm going to make for like the carpet here. I obviously want to take both of these and also add them someplace in the top of the painting so that um, so that the it's balanced all around. So um, yeah, so what I'm going to use is this um, matte medium. You could also use gloss medium if you want. I'm thinking that I don't want mine to be super glossy, so I'm just going to use um, this matte medium. So I'll show you how I'm going to do it. It's super easy. I'm just going to use it sort of like glue and paint it onto the back um, and put it on. I could also paint over the top, which probably would be a good idea. Um, so uh, you could also use Mod Podge. Um, you could probably use almost any kind of glue to, um, to use as an adhesive. You don't have to do this to your painting, but um, maybe you wanna try it. This is your chance to explore adding different things. You could glue on, you know, really anything. You wanna glue on bottle caps, you wanna glue on recycled materials, you could glue on beads. Um, yeah, have fun with it. Maybe you just wanna use straight paint, that's totally fine too. Obviously you wanna get the edges because um, that way it doesn't like pull up. You could also paint over the edges so that it um, doesn't pull up. Okay, so here we go. It's a little bit like wallpaper in some ways. Just putting it on. And then making sure that it is flat. Make it go over the edge a little bit. Um, and I think especially on the edge here so that it's not sticking up, I'm going to, I'm using matte medium because like I said, I don't want it to be super um, glossy. I'm gonna put a little bit under it. And then I'm also gonna sort of paint over it here like this, the, so that it's like really affixed on. Okay, um, and do that kind of all the way around. And so yeah, it's kind of like giant collage and then I can just still keep painting. I can paint on top of this paper if I want. Um, I'm gonna add this, this is like the rug area. So I'm gonna add a little bit of it to this. Um, this should be interesting because this paper is shiny. So uh, I don't know if I put the matte medium over it, what it's gonna do for the shininess of the paper. I think if you use, you know, this essentially is wet. We're making this paper wet, so it is gonna um, curl up a little bit, buckle up. Oh, it goes like this. The thinner the paper you use, the more it's gonna probably wrinkle. So you do need to, if you don't want it to be wrinkled, just, you know, flatten it out. brush then I actually kind of go over with my finger to smooth it out okay. 
okay. Um, yeah, so it's that simple. Um, it should stick. Actually, I'm gonna try putting, see what happens if I put some of this over the top here. I think it should dry matte. So um, it'll look different once I, once it dries. But this probably will make it more, um, well, like for example, if this got wet, the top is still paper and it could get ruined. So you probably do want to seal it with something. So it's a good idea to um, put like some sort of medium over it. Uh, either gloss or matte medium, like I'm doing. Oops, I don't know if you can see that anymore. Is that better? Some papers, especially if it's handmade papers, they might bleed a little bit. So you might want to test it first before you add it to your painting to see like, you know, once it gets activated and wet with this, um, with the medium, it might smear the color all over. So I would definitely test it first, which I didn't do, but luckily it's not, um, It's not smearing, so that's good. So I don't, this paper on top is a little bit <clears throat> different. It's not handmade paper. I don't think it's like printed paper. This will dry clear, so it will dry dark again. Also, if you don't like the texture of the brush, um, you could try to take my hands up, because it kind of turns to glue, right? So, me, I'll go over it with my hand, which will still leave the texture of my fingerprint, but maybe not so much the brush strokes and it looks like it's starting to wrinkle but it should dry I'm gonna sort of try to squeeze out some of the wrinkles right now but it should dry unwrinkled once it's dry it should flatten out it might not though and then in that case maybe I take it out or I just live with the wrinkles okay my next video I'm gonna show you how to use the um, gold leaf. Okay, see you all soon.